Hi everyone. I'm trying an instructional video. I hope you'll enjoy this. I call it simple three chord sing-along. Practice one. Way back in 1946, when I first had my double-digit birthday, I got a ukulele made of plywood shaped like a banjo. It came from Sears and Roebuck and had a cowboy decal on it. From this humble instrument, I discovered the magic of being able to sing almost any song by learning three simple chords. I was so excited that I went out to the barn and serenaded our goats with a version of Home on the Range. Now, I don't have the goats anymore, but thank you for standing in for them. Oh, I'm only kidding. Anyways, let's get back to being children again and having fun and learning some simple chords for almost any song and changing keys to boot. Now, in the early 2000s, I had the thrill of some, discovering these same chords, but now with the mountain dulcimer. And this was when I came across an article by uh, Ehuki Tevis. He was a noted, and is a noted ukulele and dulcimer player. It was entitled, A Method for Quick Changing of Keys and Chords. It appeared in Dulcimer Sessions, produced by Lois Hornbostel, with the help of Mel Bay. Now that article is no longer available, but I can remember some of the things that he taught me, and I'm gonna share those in a quite simple and basic way. This particular method is particularly helpful if you're jamming with other instruments and they want to change keys quickly and you don't have time to, to fiddle with your peg heads. So you don't have to do that with this method because you can use a capo, which I'll, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, let's assume now we're all in DAD. And we're going to use this capo to navigate to the different keys. But the first key, of course, is open and is a D. Now, keep in mind, these are all partial chords. But like in impressionistic painting, you, you don't need to have all, of, all the notes to be able to fill. Your mind fills in the rest. Well, enough of, enough of an introduction. Let's get started and play the three chords needed for a song. Keep... And I want you to keep this basic formula in mind. First, chord one has no strings held. Just straight across. Chord two, you hold the middle string only. And chord three, you hold only the two outer strings like this. D, 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 G, 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 A, 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 D. Okay, there you go. Here we are. There's your open strings, D, A, D. And we'll start off, it says no strings held. And then we go to one, one fret in the middle, which gives you your G, and then your two outer strings are held to give you the A. Let's, let's, I'll show you how it's done. You can, uh, first I'm just gonna say, say the chords and then I'll sing it. D, 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 G, G, D. Okay, 
you get the idea. Okay, now we're going to go to that first capo string. So the open D, and then your next string up is E, which will give you the E chord. Okay. All right, let's change that. Here we are, key of E, and you have E, A, and B. First, no, no, no fingers needed, then only one finger on that next fret, and then the two outer frets held. That same sort of theory, okay. E, G. Now we've got our G chord. And the three chords needed there are G, C, and D. Once again, open for the strum. One finger held down for the C. The two outer things held for the D. All right, let's get that. Okay, now you're, we're going where we, we're going full circle back to the goats. <laughs> Final chord change and key change I want is that of E. Excuse me, A. Now we're up to A. D E F sharp G A. Okay, once again it's that 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 formula. Open, then the middle string held down, and then the last outer strings held down. And I 
think we all know this particular song a little bit early, but maybe since everybody's starting a Christmas shop, we can start singing Silent Night. chords to sing along with and how to change the chords in the keys. Uh, by the way, I'm planning one for December when I'll feature Christmas songs and carols. So this is your first sing along with Mick and not Mitch and I look forward to another one with you. Thank you. <laughs>